March 9. Wall Street was squarely in President Obama's sights today. He announced new fees for big banks aimed at getting billions of dollars from a publicly unpopular target. Senior White House correspondent Major Garrett has details. We want our money back. President Obama uncorked the populism today in unveiling new fees on so-called high-risk transactions of big banks, insurers, and investment houses. The president says they have been living post-meltdown champagne dreams. My commitment is to recover every single dime the American people are owed. And my determination to achieve this goal is only heightened when I see reports of massive profits and obscene bonuses at some of the very firms who owe their continued existence to the American people. The tax is 15 percent. It will be applied to firms with more than $50 billion in assets. The fees will apply to so-called high-risk transactions, such as derivatives and mortgage-backed securities. The haul for the Treasury? $90 billion over 10 years. About 50 companies will feel the bite, 35 U.S. firms, the rest U.S. subsidiaries of foreign entities. Treasury says 20 to 27 of the companies hit will be big marquee banks. Economists for some of those big banks today warned the White House that these new taxes could reduce lending by $1 trillion over the next 10 years. Critics say customers will end up paying. It's going to be more expensive for the consumers. You're going to see less credit. You're going to see higher unemployment as a result of inability to get credit. Other than that, I think it's a fine idea. Mr. Obama's advisors say the financial industry can and should find ways to shield consumers. I want somebody to explain why are the hundreds of billions of dollars of bonuses not being passed on to their consumers and cutting into their lending because it's coming out of their profits too. Officials said the big insurance giant AIG will be hit, but the White House is exempting GM and Chrysler and Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, even though these mismanaged firms haven't paid back their bailout loans. Firms that have paid back their loans in full, Bank of America, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, will have to pony up more than they owed. All this to plug a $117 billion budget hole the bank bailouts currently leave behind. Even if these taxes are collected, critics fear Mr. Obama's other spending may push the overall deficit higher. It's the shiny ball theory of governance, where he's going to try to tax something to get $90 billion to pay off some deficit reduction, while the vast majority of money they're still committing to other spending programs. There's politics here about anger over the bonuses, but there's also deficit politics because these taxes are going to remain even after all of the TARP or bailout money has been paid back. That to deal with the deficit. So the taxes are going to remain even if TARP is made whole. Brett? Okay, much more on this in the panel. Major Garrett live on the North Lawn. Major, thank you. The Vice President meets